Now y'all ready, man? Here is the car. Oh, I got the bill of sale for it. I gotta send it over to my finance company and we're gonna go from there, but here. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Stunner Reese and I'm back, 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 the back, back, back with another video, man. That's right, man, and today, your boy Stunner Reese, man, is about to do something real decent, man, for y'all, man. I seen something that came across the internet that really, really caught my eye. And uh, I gotta go check it out, man, right now. But guys, if you are watching this video, then the option to enter to get this car is already over, man. I hope, I'm praying that you are watching this video right now and you are the person who got this car. But I also gotta say, come get your shit right now because I'm trying to go to Miami, man. So I don't need your car sitting up in my garage any longer. That's right. By the time y'all see this video, I've already chosen the winner and everything because I plan on getting up early on Sunday morning, doing the giveaway, calling the winner, contacting the winners so they can start setting up to get this shit ASAP. All right. So, yeah, I need that thing up out of here, <laughs> out of here with the quickness. So, yes, definitely, man. I love Roseanne so much, but I need the space. I need the space because I'm trying to do something, man. I'm really trying to make a move where your boy going to be out of the north, man. Your boy going to be down in the south, man. So I got house cleaning to do. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been actually cleaning a lot. I ain't going to cap to you. Been getting a lot of stuff in order with the house. <sighs> Who knows what I'm going to end up doing with the house. People been telling me, go ahead and do an Airbnb this, that, and other, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I'm like, basically, I don't know, because I would love to keep the house and just keep it for income, which is actually this is probably the smartest thing that I could probably do because of the simple fact that I own the house. I don't owe any money on the house. The house is 100% mine. No mortgage, no payments. I got the deed, all right? So to own a piece of property in America right now, is actually pretty good, pretty smart, because the value of houses and things are only gonna be going up. If I sell it, yeah, I'm gonna get the one lump sum of money, but, you know, to have a place that, you know, you could just say you own is also well. So, I don't know, man, weighing the pros and cons, drop in the comments and tell me what you guys think I should do. Do you think I should keep the house, rent the house out, now, with renting the house out, you know what I'm saying, doing a typical rental, then the problem with that is you got to sign a lease and it's very hard to get people out your houses up here in Chicago, man. I ain't going to lie to you, man. People be wanting to do some goofy shit. So, you know what I'm saying, you, you just got to be real careful in that. Typically with the Airbnb stuff, it's not, you know, you don't, you don't have those issues. So, it's just a lot to think about with properties, owning properties, this, that, and other. Do you just take the big lumps of money and just get, you know, through with the headache? Or do you take on that long, long, long term headache, but you be getting a long, long term paycheck. So y'all know one of my last videos I said that I was looking into getting a total of 10 sources of income. And that's kind of the only thing that's kind of making me think that I might want to hold on to the property and just make it one of my sources of income. Yeah, that way. <laughs> I know y'all be like, what the hell is he doing? Hey man, ain't nothing like a good read. Well yeah gang, we're about to get up out of here. We're about to head somewhere super special. And uh, I don't think I've ever talked, well, I don't think I've, I'm pretty sure that I've never brought y'all where I'm about to go today. I've actually been there before, but I didn't uh, vlog. Uh, I was actually, actually working. I was shooting a video with my man, AK, from Do or Die, for a video we shot called Sex Drive. Yep. So yeah, that was a... Uh, good time but if y'all know where I shot that video at then y'all know where I'm headed yeah for those who I always do that 
accidentally hit this damn button and cut the damn truck off as I'm walking up to it. Alright. Yeah, you already know you gotta have that re remote start on when you coming outside nowadays out this way because it be cold and motherfucker, man. Uh, still, guys, haven't decided 100% if I'm gonna be taking Kavari to Miami with me. Uh, by the time y'all see this video, hopefully it's only like a day or two left. And, you know, I really got to buckle down and make my decision to see what I'm going to do. Ice possible driveway care. What the hell are you talking about, man? It's definitely ice on this damn ground. Oh, man. So, yeah, I'm just vibing out today. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to see a car that just came across my timeline and the price is i mean from what i'm looking at it looks really good now the car is not like a dream spec by a long shot but the price is definitely definitely in the uh, range of something that i could get like right now so i don't know man you know it's just me going to take a look i'm not saying i'm finna buy no car or nothing y'all so y'all get in the you know what i'm saying in the comments and be like, oh, you just window shopping. You don't never buy nothing, this, that, and other. Guys, honestly, right now, I don't even have space for another car. Uh, I don't have space for the shit, the shit I got now. But, you know, this is uh, one of the cars that I feel that I'm going to eventually end up getting. Maybe, possibly. But, you just never know. Now, let me just say something real quick, guys. I'm just going to insert this into my conversation real quick. Guys, I just saw that Bentley and Mulliner is coach building 18 special cars. And I think it's called the Bator or something like that. And guys, these cars, it's only 18 of them going to be built in the world. And this car is so nasty, y'all. Like, for real, for real, this mug gangster it's a two door coupe not convertible and I actually got a video clip of it I want to insert into the video hopefully I remember to do this but yes I want to insert this video clip into the video guys and so uh, be, we'll be right back video clip starting in 3 2 1 let's go yeah. Alright gang, I hope y'all enjoyed that video And uh, Thanks, tell me what y'all think man Your boy Stunnery's gotta make a quick pit stop for some gas And I'm gonna be using my Escrow Wallet today man That's right man, make sure y'all click the link in the description Get y'all an Escrow Wallet Got the quick fan release button It's also got the IDF protection And it's got a tracker So if you lose your wallet anywhere in the world You can find it right with the phone app on your phone Alright, so get your Escrow Wallet today Let's get it Alright, gang, 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 gang. Alright, man, we are finally on our way to our destination. That's right, man. About to go check out something special. Now, getting back to that Bentley, Mulliner, or Tour. I hope I'm saying the name right. I don't know. But, guys, tell me that ain't one of the sexiest cars ever seen in your life. What the hell is going on on the expressway? Oh my goodness. Well, well, first of all, my phone mount don't look like it want to cooperate. And the traffic don't want to cooperate. So, yeah, it's not going to be a good trip. Yeah. I'm an hour away from my destination. And look at the traffic right now. Stopping. Stopping. So, this ain't going to be a good trip by a long shot but y'all know I gotta do what I gotta do you know what I'm saying when I gotta do it but going back to the car man 
guys tell me that ain't one of the sexiest cars you have ever seen in your life as far as a coupe go it's not a supercar it's a coupe and i love coupes y'all know i'm a two-door man i don't like four-door cars i just don't i've never really liked four-door cars uh, not the old ones not the new ones none of them i mean if I had an option, if they got a two-door model, I'm always going to go with a two-door. That's just what I like. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I really love that car. And I think those are some of the sexiest lines that I've seen on a car in a very long time. I like the way they did the front, the headlights, the rear, the taillights. Everything just flows so good with that car. Now, with a coach-built car, it's pretty much it's built to very very limited and a lot of times it's just one-off cars you know somebody commissions a company to build them their own car so uh, like i said mulliner and bentley bentley mulliner they are uh, building these 18 cars and they going for two million dollars before any options <laughs> so you know once they throw all the options you can uh, probably be easily double that money you know what I'm saying? And that's just some real shit. But from what they're saying, you can pick out any color, any material, any fabrics, any uh, different metals, all different types of things. Like It's pretty much unlimited on what you can do to this car. And it is so nasty looking. So I cannot wait to see like when... Well, I probably would never see one in real life because there's only 18 of them in the world. But I can't wait to see like videos of them and see the different specs of people who uh, is willing to share what they have on you know the platforms so we can see it. Uh, I think they say that the car is gonna start rolling out like mid 2023. So definitely, if you into this car like I am, I can't wait to see. Uh, how they look if you see anything on them make sure you send it to me and also um, if i get any more updates or anything i'm definitely going to be sharing some of those videos with y'all too or just talking about it so yeah i can't wait but i'm on this road man i'm in vino that's right man somebody uh said in the comments it's the red light district now <laughs> yeah vino the don dada that's right man for real for real Loving this van, y'all. You know, this is the best investment I've ever made in my life as far as cars and just freedom. Guys, y'all just don't even understand the level of freedom I get with van life, baby. Van life, man. I know a lot of people, like, you ain't really doing van life. And I know I ain't really doing van life. But I'm just putting my own twist on it. It's done a van life, man, for real. But... Guys, I'm going to show y'all like real van life again, guys. Y'all know when I go on tour, um, you know, part of my, my channel, part of my journey is showing people how to live out of a van, have fun, enjoy life, all different types of things, and, you know, save money, man. You know, so it's, it is what it is, man. It's just something different. Nobody else on YouTube is taking cars around the car shows across the countries and different things like that. Um, by way of uh, living in a van on 26 Frogiados. That's my own lane. That's Stunner Reese lane. So I'm enjoying my lane. I don't get a lot of views. I don't get a lot of push from YouTube. They don't really share my platform like that or anything. But I enjoy showing y'all what I do. And all my real ones, all my brick by brick people, all my 32 gang, X squad, Stunt Squizzy, Stunt Squad, man, I love y'all. And I appreciate y'all for all the views, all the love, all the comments, man. Drop them comments, man. Drop them, I'm a real one. Drop them bricks right now, man. Drop them 32 gangs. Drop, drop everything, man, for me, man. Real gang, my brothers, man. Or everybody, man, that rock out with me. I appreciate all y'all, man, for real, for real. All right? But uh, we finna concentrate on this traffic. Ooh, what you trying to show out on me, man? With your little, with your little uh, Ben Sprinter, huh, huh, huh? You ain't got this in the back, though, my boy. Yes, sir. You ain't got that. Yo, shit ain't looking like that back there. Mm-hmm. All right, gang, but I'll holler at y'all in a minute, man. Let's get it. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have.
have made it here to the location and whoa what the heck do we got right there boy mm -hmm. yes sir yes sir yes sir we are at the world famous chicago motor cars man Chicago motor cars. Um, so, since we already here, and y'all know exactly what type of place this is, they got a lot of exotics and stuff here, and they actually had a Lamborghini on the website that popped up, and uh, man, but it ain't this one though. Oh, this thing nasty. Jeez. That hoe go crazy. Damn, that's to y'all. Yeah. Yeah, that's nasty right there, y'all. I love this boy. Y'all know this is my, my color combo and everything. That's nasty. They go crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we're going to go in here and uh, take a look at this let me tour and see what they got. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Let's go. Alright, guys, we've made it here to Chicago Motor Cars. And, guys, ooh, we, ooh, we, ooh, we. Right behind this camera is something that I gotta show y'all that's very, very special, but I'm gonna try not to show it to y'all until the end because they actually got my ID back there and I always already contacted my credit union and yeah we might be doing something on this one because when i came to see it in person oh, whole nother animal but let's uh try to carefully show y'all everything else before i show y'all that but yeah got right here man nice 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 lamborghini huracan this is a performante this thing is sexy right here y'all it's got the forged carbon tinted windshield satin black appearance I like the performantes it's got the forged carbon and big Lambo vibes As carbon fiber in the rear slide the camera over and be careful not to show y'all what's over there all right so we got this nice as mclaren y'all look at this now, this is a 765 lt so sexy 2021 blue definitely my favorite of all the mclarens is the 765 i like the p1 uh but not as much as the, the 765. Now, my ultimate McLaren, of course, is the center. That is like just a super, super rare, you dig? But yeah, this thing is hard right here. Now, big SVJ going on right here. This is a special edition. Guys, you do not see these often at all with this color combo. Like a, almost like a destroy gray. But it's all also got like a little slight metallic in it though. Super sexy. Carbon file brakes. So much sexiness. Carbon fiber hood. It's a badass car right there, guy. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you, that thing hard. Now we got another Lambo right here. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all see, man, this one is sold. Yes, sir. Uh, big sold. Mm hmm. Y'all like that, right? Big SVJ vibes, carbon fiber mirrors. Mm -hmm. Nasty, 
y'all. Nasty. That boy go crazy. Somebody bought this one. That's gangster though. Big gangster. So gangster. Mm. 600 LT. Now this is a coupe. I mean, excuse me. This is a spider. I like the coupes better, but I do like the 600 LT better than the regular uh, 570s. 600's got the exhaust coming up through the back like that. Now they got one over there. That's even better than this, but I'm gonna show it to y'all in a second. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that for sure, for sure. <sighs> Big drop top C8 vibes. Three OT. One for 104. satin white now this one here looks like a special edition because it's got carbon fiber up front UR53 I don't know what that's about like special seats this thing's nasty I don't know about that color on that engine though. I don't know what's to that. But yeah. Carbon fiber. And satin white go crazy. Satin white go crazy. Now we got this crazy color on this Audi R8 V10, y'all. This color is wicked. <laughs> this might have to be the one, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. This thing is sexy. It's got something in Boston hood, too. Big V10. This car definitely looks like it's been modified right here. Love this color, but I'm not a vert guy. Can't see the motor. Is it an electric car or is it gas? I don't know. Can't see the motor. Yes, sir. Look at that, boy. V10. Big, big vibes right here. That's nasty, too. Now, they got more stuff outside. They got all the trucks, tundras, all type of stuff. They got a big G-Wagon they was telling me about too. In the back, we're gonna take a look at that too. Look at this Aston Martin right here. Not a silver guy, but it's a sexy ass car. The shape of these cars are super sexy. I like them better in a hard top, but just the back end of this car is just so nasty, y'all. Overly nasty. And they got the Vander Halls. Denise is nice. Drop in the comments and let me know if you guys would drive a Vander Hall. See what y'all say about that. I don't know. Definitely a Porsche guy. 
I like Porsches. A lot of people don't like Porsches, but I like Porsches. A lot of people do like Porsches, but uh, it's just our people in our culture are just not like really Porsche guys. I don't know about this chocolate uh, interior though. I ain't gonna cap on that. And it's like a blue. It looks black, but it's like a blue, guys. Very dark. Here. And this is another Huracan that they got. Oh, I don't know about the interior though. Interior kind of throw it off. I don't know about those. It's like not spalding, but it's like brown. It's a really like weird color. But yeah, I mean, just the color combo, the silver. With the brown, I don't know, man. It just ain't really me. It just don't pop for me. We got another Audi right here. It's a sheepy race. <laughs> I don't know what that means, guys. Carbon fiber mirrors, carbon fiber everything. Got it? Yep. All right. Cool, cool, so I cool. put the fifteen thousand dollars down as well. Okay, cool, okay. cool. Yep, that's perfect. That's and perfect. I don't know how they want to do it. Cause some credit unions, you just pay them the fifteen. Some. And then they'll just give you, you, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. However they want to do yeah. it, we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. So Take yeah. time, look around. Okay, no problem. All right, and uh, you guys got some more inventory in the yeah, back. In the back. You okay. Can go back there okay, the back. I'll go take a look and yeah, see what else you guys got. And uh, before I leave, I'm definitely gonna have you shout out. You know, whatever you want to. Yeah, whatever. All right, matter. I got you. Matter. All right, no problem. But I'm gonna be contacting you. Like I'm sending this over to them like ASAP. Yeah, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna figure it out. Yeah. All right, guys. Just so that you know, man, I wasn't bullshitting. Paperwork right there, and that's my ID right there. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yes, uh. Y'all gonna see, but this is that other 600 that I was telling y'all about LT. This is a nice spec. I'm not even a blue car guy, but this one right here is definitely nice. Look at this with the orange seat belts, with all the carbon fiber and the seats, Alcantara leather. This is crazy. Only if it was a hard top. I like all the aero and everything that they put on the 600s. And like I said. It's just so cold right here. Exhaust coming out the top like that. Just extra wicked. Badass car. Sick. SL right here. So y'all. Another car right here I love in here. But this mug is just gotta be. They just love the convertibles in this place. Is this one, man. Look at this. Seven. 65 LC. It's like a graphite gray. Look at all the arrow, active arrow, and everything. It's been nasty. Exhaust tips. That's crazy. That boy look good, y'all. That 765 LT just, that mug's sexy with all the carbon fiber and stuff like that. That's nasty. Another one right here, Porsche. I'm not a fan of that color. We're gonna go back in the back to show you guys what they got going on back there. All right, gang, we back here in the back. They got another Aventador right here, SV. Ooh, this boy nasty. That wing, and you can see the motor. Best thing about it, I love it. Ooh, Ferrari. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Damn convertible, man. This is the 488. 
thanks to my boy Real, I know my difference between my 458s and my 488. No. Got a white Urus over here. Flipping like a dolphin. Look at that. Purple to green. Yeah. I wonder if this is a PC paint job. Custom interior. That's nice. That is nice. This black right here go crazy. Made back right here. This, what kind of Ferrari is this? I don't even know what kind of car this is. It's a Ferrari something. Is that a California? That's not a California. Almost. Mm -hmm, That's different. Drop in the comments if y'all know what this is, gang. I don't know. Oh, they got a lucid air. Big Maybach, though. Big Maybach. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Four five eight right here. Four five eight look good. Look real good. All right, gang, 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 gang. Got it. Another McLaren over here. Now this is a hard top. Oh, in black. Yeah. I like this. I like this right here. This one. Man. Ass. Ass. Ooh. 430 look good too. This is a special car right here, y'all. That's a special car. Alright, y'all ready, man? We're gonna go take a look at the car that I actually contacted my credit union about. What's going on, guys, is they got to see what the rates is. Right now, the rates are super high, which is pushing the car net up super high right now. So I can definitely do better if I do, you know, be a little patient, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, but my credit union is actually who I finance my car through is actually you know trying to see what they can do but we're going to see exactly uh, what they end up saying and the guy was actually telling me if I have the option to you know do a giveaway on my car I, could, I would have a lot more equity down doing it that way versus trying to trade it in now I'm, they're going to give me pretty much exactly what I owe for my car so basically, I would only just be financing the new car. I wouldn't have any overages or none of that. It would just be me basically financing this new car. Now y'all ready, man? Here is the car. I just uh, put my information in on. I got the bill of sale for it. I gotta send it over to my finance company and we gonna go from there, but here it is, gang. Ooh. Big hurricane vibe. Hurricane. I said hurricane. Hurricane vibes. Now, this car is actually satin yellow from the factory, but the person actually spent eight thousand dollars to put a 
satin PPF over that yellow. Now the car has some mods. It has $10,000 worth of aftermarket wheels on it already. It already has a carbon fiber wing installed and it also has an exhaust system installed on it already. Look at the wheels, y'all. And I think it's lower too. It's sitting a little bit lower than the other ones too. It's got the carbon fiber brakes. It's got some uh, extra upgrades, tenant lights. I look so good. What's up, puppy? Yep. It's got the black on the top of the hood that makes it flow all the way from the windshield all the way back, which I really, really like. And let's take a look at the interior. Out interior with the leather. Yellow and black seats. Alcantara on the dash. This thing is nasty. And you can see the motor. That's right. It's like in damn near brand new condition. I like this a lot, gang. Drop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all like it? good without wings man none of them yeah what y'all think man drop in the comments i like it i definitely like it all right gang well i already know man we're gonna see what we end up doing and uh, go from there. I love this car though. This is the one. Y'all already know I like that yellow too. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on everything. Don't forget, man. Do what you need to do. Join that Patreon for that exclusive content. Let's go. All right, gang, 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 gang. I did not get an opportunity to shout out the guy who was helping me at the dealership. So I definitely want to pay some homage to him, guys. His name was Hassan Hazir Sadiq, I believe that is. But yeah, you guys can reach him. Uh, there's his contact information right there if you guys are interested in any of the cars that I showed today, guys. But I want to show you this is the bias order right here. All right. And that's today's date 1623. And let's just go over this. 2015 Lamborghini Huracan. That's the VIN number to the actual car, guys. You guys can go look at the car on their website. 24,000 miles. Now, I'm going to go over this buyer's order and then I'm going to kind of like tell y'all kind of what I found once I left there. Because, you know, sometimes when you going through the algorithm on stuff and something just pop up and you're like, damn, that's nice as hell. You know what I'm saying? It's already kind of how I like it but you know what I'm saying and you thinking in your mind man that's a good deal because damn them cars go for this that and other because you don't don't know because you ain't really like researched them like that well I'm gonna go over this buyer's order and then we're gonna talk about some other stuff but um so it's a coupe of course not a convertible yellow and black 24,000 miles uh, the asking base price is two twenty nine eight hundred. All right, and total above two twenty nine eight hundred. Uh, trade in allowance. They only trying to give me seventy thousand eight hundred for Cavari, guys. Now that is actually uh, what I owe on the car. That is exactly what I owe on the car. Oh, uh, so that will bring me to a balance of 159. All right. Then they got a 347 damn dollar dock fee, man. 
taxes will be $12,774. Now, let me tell you guys about the taxes. So, I do not have to pay the taxes on the $70,800 that they've given me for the car. So, you do save taxes on the amount that you pay for the car when you trade in the car. So, when I bought the car, I paid whatever the, I paid as far as taxes go. I don't have to double pay that amount on the next car because that would be like stupid, right? Well, at one point last year, they had actually made where you only get 10% of your taxes back on a car. So, you know, or it was only a certain amount you can get back on your car and then anything over the net, you didn't get your money back. So I was just told that they changed it back. So now you get your full tax credit on what the car is worth. So um, that helps me out uh, because I don't have to I only pay taxes on 159000 opposed to paying taxes on 229000 Now that's about a probably about a $7,000 difference uh, that I'm getting as far as taxes go. So really, instead of getting $70,800, i am really getting $70,800 plus $7,000. So around $77,000 is really more of what I'm getting because I don't have to pay that extra 7000 So instead of the taxes being, again, if you was to tax 229000 versus 159000 uh your taxes will probably be about uh, $7,000 more than this figure right here. So $12,774 is what the taxes came up to. Then they got a processing fee of $300. A license and title fee to transfer from my place from Kavari of $205. That brings it back up to a total of $172,000. Now, I got to add my payoff, which I owe on Kavari of $70,800 back on there. That brings the total back up to $243,420. Five cents, well, twenty-five dollars and twenty-six cents, man. All right, and I told him I probably just put like fifteen thousand down, and that would leave a total balance of two twenty-eight four twenty-five twenty-six, man. <laughs> yes, 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 guys. So that is basically what the breakdown is with that particular car now. Let me tell you, that car has extra stuff on it, just like I told you. So, it's got some extra value to it. The only thing is, when I was talking to the young lady at the bank, when I told her what they was asking for that car, she was like, that's definitely above book value or what the value of the car is actually worth versus what they asking for. So... You know, the thing is, they don't care about the extras and none of that. They they don't care. None of that makes them, you know what I'm saying? They don't care. They're only going to loan you the amount of money for that car on what that car is worth at the end of the day. What it books for is what it's worth. You know, it's not a super rare car. It's a supercar, but it's not a super rare supercar. It's one of the most common supercars. And, you know, there's cars out there a lot less expensive than that one. But I love that car. So, if Chicago Motor Cars, if y'all watching this, I love that car. That car is, like, really, really set up for what I, I would, like, almost like I would do it if I was to buy it. So, but the thing is... Um, the temperature that I'm getting right now is that they're going to be looking for a whole lot more money down than the 15K. And typically when I buy cars, I buy them in the range of what the value is. Reason being because when I go and if I wanted to go back to Chicago Motor Cars within a month and say, hey, I only put a thousand miles or 600 miles on this car. They're going to be like, well, I know you paid this, but this colony books out for this amount, and that's all we can give you. They're not going to, 
give me anything extra for those wheels again and just like when they took it in from the people who they took it in from they only gonna give you what the car is worth they don't care about you know as far as on the trading value they don't care about any of the extras that you put into the car just like with Kavari he, he was like man those wheels cost 10,000 well that's what I paid basically for the wheels that's on Kavari but are y'all gonna give me an extra 10,000 for the wheels that's on Kavari no you're not so you know it's just uh, or the ground effect kit the carbon fiber that I put on there or the, the spoiler or anything else that I put on they're not gonna give me a dime extra for any of that because they don't care you know why they don't care because they want to take them in low and sell them high and that's the name of the game man I used to sell cars and I worked in finance so I know how it goes um but then that basically brought me to trying to figure out what cars I could find that are within the book value range of what the car is actually worth. And then I started doing a search. And oh boy, did your boy Stunner Reese find a lot of cars. That's right, a lot of them. So there is quite a few out there that is within the book value of what that car is and what the mileage is and things like that. Uh, that's actually one of the highest mile cars that I have found. I've seen one or two that was higher. That's it. All the rest of them, much, much lower miles, probably half or less than that. So it's like, man, guys, you, uh, you pay for those mileage and you got to be real careful because imagine if I'm buying it with 28,000 miles and in a year or so that I have it, I'm putting, you know, because I, I plan on, if I do get it, I plan on, you know, having it maybe two years, one or two years, you know, just like about the same time that I had Kavari. I'm, I think I'm a year and a half in with Kavari because I bought, yeah, June of, not 2022, but 2021. So, yes, a year and a half in. So, you got to just think, guys. We, um, that's around, I mean, again, same with the Yale Cat Hellcat. Had that for about right around three years. Then I got the Doberman, had that about maybe a year. Then... You know, so yeah, so basically, you know, that's pretty much the flipping range for me and my cars. You know, I had the Bentley, and then you know, so so I'm just saying, so we are really, really, you know, what I'm saying, at a point where the car is what I want. I mean, like, but the price is the trade difference price is way off. Like from what the bank is really trying to let me get versus what they're asking for the car because it has some extra features on it. So, but it is exactly what I want, guys. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say exactly, but man, when I tell you like a perfect starting point for me, of course, I add my little extras to it and make it my own. But man, y'all, like just. But does it make sense? If the price was right, it would definitely make sense. And that's what it comes down to. You can't be an impulse buyer, especially when you have an 800 credit score. And you can pretty much go anywhere in the world and grab one. You know what I'm saying? But the, the accessories on it definitely pushed my hot buttons when I saw it. So could I buy one a lot cheaper? Probably 20 to $25,000 cheaper equivalent to that car and then just add my own accessories on it and really make it mine, I could. And that might be a better option for me so that, you know, I can make it mine. Because if I got that car, there's a couple of little things that I would do to it. Not much. I wouldn't do a color change because I actually love that color. Y'all know I like yellow. And, you know, that'll be it. After that, it's a done deal. 
you know, it is what it is at that point. So, man, I don't know that. That mug nasty. I love it. But yeah, gang, that officially is going to end the video, man. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But I actually have an appointment to go see another one in the morning. And we're going to see. Only thing is, this, this dealership, I ain't going to lie to you, is really skeptical, sketchy, because I called them and asked them, I said, is the car there? Uh, can I come see it? It was like, oh, no, it'll be here in the morning. Can we make an appointment in the morning? So, one of two things. They just got the car for clickbait on their website or, or one of the managers or the owners is driving the car and... You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So we're going to see how it turns out, man. Y'all stick around for the next video, man. But this is your boy Stunner signing out, man. I appreciate y'all. love y'all. Thank you for all the love and support over the years. And uh, we're going to see, man. But we might have another option that we might do. And uh, I need y'all to get in the comment section right now, man, and let me know. Would you guys like for me to do a giveaway on Kavari? Would that be a better option? And then that way one of the subscribers can have the car and Kavari and enjoy Kavari. Yeah, we talking about C8 Kavari, super legendary. Yeah. So drop in the comments before. Yeah. I hope hopefully a lot of y'all came to the end of this video. Drop in the comments and let me know would that be better for you guys? Give you guys an opportunity to win Kavari for only twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Yeah. I think that'll be crazy. All right, gang, but I'm out of here, man. Peace. Today's video is brought to us by the Street Whip Stunting Facebook group. If you're into custom cars, the Big Wheel Culture. Big Wheel Racing, anything customized with cars, motorcycles, and trucks, make sure you join the Facebook group, Street Whip Stunting. You can post all your pictures, all your videos, and it's free. So definitely click the link in the description of this video and join the Facebook group, Street Whip Stunting. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, uh, subscribe, share, uh, what does it like for you, Nick? Like. Yeah, subscribe, spread, like, square. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, subscribe, square. Yeah, subscribe, share, and it's like. So it ain't it, square. It, it's square. <laughs> it's and square. share. All right, that's Subscribe up. to my man.